for a long time, there has been this quest for a universal language that's likely a computational language. And I think the idea of consciousness and story and semiotics that a token, a blockchain token can have nested meanings with embedded in the token. You could have a superficial level that this token represents a certain exchange level of carbon trading and a certain value. But then you could have a deeper level of meaning that it came from this permaculture farm, you could have a deeper level of meaning this permaculture farm was on indigenous land that had this level of you know, collective trauma. Like there could be these deeper meanings and that within the space of this immersive reality digital holodeck, you could imagine having intelligences through a token exchange, which is embodied symbols, trading tokens as a language where maybe this weird thing of John Lilly talking to the dolphins, like I'm just, again, I may, maybe this is a leap, but you could conceptualize some sort of computing problem solving space where we're supposed to talk with, um, you know, a, a, an olive grove in Israel and the whales in Dominican, like I think uh, Neri Oxman is talking about and weeping willows in Montana through tokenomics to solve some sort of collective problem in the commons that the holodeck reality, a gamified reality with a tokenized language becomes a commons for peer peer to peer problem solving where a peer might be a machine or a, a DAO, a peer might be you know, a, a, a little kid in a third grade classroom, you know, in, a, in haptics, a, a peer might be, um, you know, a, you know, a Department of Energy Lab employee, like we all may be, you know, it may be a bot. And then all of these are supposed to be inter interacting. And in that the diversity, diversity, equity, inclusion, like diversity is actually important because you want diverse problem solvers. And so I think that the serious gaming component that Dennis Meadows was working in is this immersive holodeck. 